everyone. Welcome back to Sherry Marie's YouTube channel. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. My name is Sherry Marie and I'm here to bring you weekly videos. Today, I'm going to show you how I achieve this 15 minute makeup look. It's my go-to makeup look for when I go to work. I work three nights a week. So this is the look that I always recreate and wear to work. <laughs> it's like my go-to. In this video, I don't add any blush. <laughs> person even though I have some I just don't ever use it I'm more of a bronzer kind of girl so in this video to be no blush or no eye any eye makeup I just always wear a little eyeliner and my mascara and that's all I wear for all my eyes when I go to work sometimes I'll put a little bronzer but yeah if you want to see how I created this makeup look just keep on watching my channel and let's just jump right into the video and thank you and please subscribe so now I'm going to start by spraying the Mario Badescu, I guess I'm saying it right, all over my face. Then I'm going to use my little fan. I use this little fan a lot when I'm doing my makeup. I got it for like 10 bucks at Walmart a few years ago. Now I'm going in with my NYX Marshmallow Primer. I love this stuff. It really makes my makeup last and I only use one pump Then one pump does my whole entire face. After my beauty blender is damp, I will go in with my foundations. I usually mix these two. It is the NARS Radiant Foundation. And the color I use is in Von 2. And I mix it with the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. So I'm just mixing these two on my face. I put four dots on my beauty blender and I dab that in the four spots on my face, main areas. <laughs> and then I just blend it. I first go in with the beauty blender. And then you'll see me go in with my IT Foundation cosmetic brush that I got last year. I'll also go in with that. And I'm just dabbing a little bit more foundation over my little <laughs> blemish right there on my chin. And my neck as well. Always make sure your neck is blended. So now I'm going in with this NYX foundation brush. I just washed my makeup brushes, so that's why they were a little damp <laughs> still. But yeah, that's what I'm doing now is blending my foundations out. And I always mix these two just for the summertime because I'm just a little bit darker in the summertime, even though you can't tell it now. It looks like I'm very washed out because of the camera. But yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Just blending my foundation. Just dab, dab, dab all over your face to make sure it's all blended very well. After my foundation is on, I'm going in with my Dior Forever Skin Corrector Concealer. I love this stuff. It really works well under the eyes. It's not very heavy or cakey. And for my 12 hour shift, it brightens up that area. It looks like it would be like a little too light for my skin, but just wait, it blends in very well. And you don't need much at all. I just do two little dabs and then on my nose, just, I use my fingers at first. And then I'll go in with my Beauty Blender. And the color that I use in the Dior is 1W. If you're wondering what shade I have in the Dior concealer, 1W. Next, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is in the color Honey. I just take a little bit of it with my beauty blender and I put it up under my eyes. I thought I was going to use the brush, but it, sometimes I use the brush at first, but now I like to go in my beauty blender, put it under my eyes, as you can see. After the Laura Mercier powder is applied under my eyes, I'll go in with this Mario stick. Um, let me see what color I have that in. I use this in medium dark. And this is what I use to contour my face. 
I usually let the Laura Mercier powder sit up under my eyes just a little bit. I wouldn't call it baking necessarily because I don't leave it there for a long period of time. But why after I apply the foundation, then I'll go in and remove the translucent powder. So it only sits under my eyes for like two minutes and it just gives it an extra brightening effect that I like. And I know I call that foundation, I meant to call it contouring. <laughs> On my cheeks now i'm just going in and blending that out it looks super dark at first <clears throat> excuse me at first but once you blend it out it blends in really really well i just started dabbing in to cream products this year and i really love this mario stick it's the makeup bar mario I actually get it from sephora and i take whatever's left on my brush and put it on my forehead as well next i'm going in with the fit me translucent powder i use this on the areas of my face where i didn't use the laura mercier powder so i'm just putting that in the areas of my face not under my eyes but the other parameters of my face my forehead my cheeks and my neck just blending it all out and that's in the color honey I don't know about you when you're getting ready, but I'm a very messy person. So I'm sorry if you see <laughs> powder flying all over my shirt. That's just me. But when I walk out the door, I make sure I'm clean. Like I wipe everything off my shirt. So just don't mind me. Don't mind the powder on my shirt. Trust me. I'll wipe it off before I walk out the door. I'm just going in with my Revlon bronzer. I got this last year and I use that as my bronzer on top of the contour stick. Because I'm a bronzer person. I love bronzer. And I'm also adding a little bit of my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer as well. Just to darken it up. You don't have to do this step. It's just an extra set that I do. But as you can see, it looks very dark now. But I'll go in, just blend everything together with my Real Techniques brush here in a second. I'm going in with this Essence Brightening Powder. I'm just going to use this on my forehead, the middle of my forehead. Just to bring it all together. Just give it a little dimension right there. So that's what I'm doing now. And now I'm going in with my Real Techniques brush. I got this from TJ Maxx this year and it's very good about blending everything together. So just be patient, it all come together. Now my very messy little Amrezy <laughs> powder. It's a highlight powder. I shouldn't even be using this. This is technically probably like four years old. You can't even find this anymore because they discontinued discontinued it but I love this powder as you can see I hit pan on it oh, I hit myself an eye that's the everyday thing for me but yeah that's my highlight and I would also go in with my essence this is very affordable I get this from Ulta it's the essence sunlight powder from uh, sunlight highlighter now I'm just going in make sure everything's blended 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 now I'm going to try to contour my nose. Listen, if you come here to watch a five-star review of a nose contour, this is not it. <laughs> I just started contouring my nose a little bit this year, and I'm using the LA Girl. Let me see what shade I have this in. It's the LA Girl. It's a dark. I don't even see the name on it. Oh, and Toast, the color Toast. And that's what I'm using. I'm looking in the mirror because it's very hard to contour your nose just looking at the camera. But this is what I do. I'm not a pro, but I try. And I love this It brush. I got this free last year for being a Diamond member. Listen, you need to jump on the Ulta Point game because you can get free stuff. And I love It brushes. Going back in with a Dior concealer. I'm going to put a little bit of that on my nose. Just to brighten up the center of my nose. And just blend it with my finger at first. There's nothing wrong with using your hands during makeup. You don't always have to use your beauty blender or brush at first. I like to use my hands a lot. Next, we're going to brush up our eyebrows here and I will do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll come back on camera and show you how they look. <laughs> I 
I just don't feel comfortable right now doing my eyebrows on camera because it's a very tedious process and I really don't have a tail as you can see on my natural brow so I'm gonna do this off camera and then I'll come back but first I'm going in with my bad gal bank eyeliner I love this stuff been using it for at least five years and I just lined the top of my eye and the bottom lid so that's what I'm doing now and this is in the color black And you can see the difference that the eyeliner really makes. I always use the black or a brown, but I don't have a brown right now. I tried the nude or the white eyeliner on the bottom lid, and it just doesn't work out for me. So I always stick to the black on the lower and, and the top. And that's all I do. Some people may find this set very gimmicky or they don't think it works, but it works for me. I've been doing this for at least four to five years. I use an eyelash primer. It comes out very white, but after you layer your mascara on top, it blends in and the whiteness goes away. And it really helps my eyelashes stay up for an entire 12 hour shift that I work. It works for me. So I personally just don't like using an eyelash curler. So this is easier for me to just grab, throw on, and then throw on my mascara on top of it. And it works. Voila, my eyebrows are magically on. Next, I'm going in with the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I always go in with this first because it has a very thin wand and I can get to the bottom of my lash very easily with this wand. I usually put two to three coats of this on each eye. It just takes me a while. It always takes me a while on my mascara. But I feel like you're not put together unless you have on your mascara. I'm either an all makeup girl or no makeup at all. Like I walk out the house with a full face of makeup or none at all. There's no in between, no in between with me. Listen, if you don't know about this mascara, where have you been? This is a $3.99 mascara. You can get it from Walmart, Ulta, anywhere, and it really makes a difference in your lashes watch and you will be able to tell the difference it's the essence lash princess it's in the little green cap so go pick this up for $3.99 you can't beat it and I always have it on stockpile these are the two mascaras I normally use I'll go in first with the bad gal bang and then I'll layer the essence on top of that Almost at the end, we just have lips left and a couple more steps. I'm going in with this NYX lingerie. I got this from Walmart last week and it is in the color. I don't even know why I'm trying to show you on camera because it is not showing up. It is in the color Turn On. I kind of like these kind of colors, mauve kind of colors. It's like my go-to. And I really love NYX like lip products. That's mostly all I use is the NYX brand. Like I say, you can get that from Walmart, your drugstore, or Ulta. And then I'll go in with the butter gloss. I like a little gloss on my lips. I don't like a totally matte lip. So that's what I'm doing now is mixing those two together. And the butter gloss by NYX is in the color Madeline, if you were wondering. Sorry if you hear a lot of banging. I'm just going through trying to find extra products so I can give you the name as I go on camera. This is an important step. I have really long eyelashes naturally, so I have to go in and clean them up. After I get done with my makeup, I just take a little Q-tip, stick it inside the, this is the Equate Walmart brand eye makeup remover. It works fine. So this is what I use to clean up my eyes. 
clean up the mascara. Last, I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is their new one. It's the vitamin C kind, and I really, really love this. So, I'll go a little heavy with that. And this makes it there for some of my makeup. Makes it last for 12 hours. Got to go in with the fan just to make sure it all gets sinking in and dried really well. Two hours later, after I'm done with the little fan and I set it down, I'll go back in with my beauty blender, just add my whole entire face and make sure everything is pressed and sunken in together. So that's what I'm doing now and that is it. This is my final makeup look, what I wear for my 12 hour shift. And I know I have a little bit of mascara on my top eye, right eye, but I'll go in and clean it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a blessed day and come back next week for a new video.